where I am really. A squid. Squid. Hey there, what's it? Henry Potter 999 here, and I'm back with another Minecraft mod review. And today, we are going to be showcasing the Morph Mod by iChan. Basically, what this mod does, it allows you to morph into any vanilla Minecraft mob, or actually any Minecraft mob, in fact, uh, even if they're in mods or anything. So, if you want, you can add this to a mod pack, and then you can transform into any mob you like. But yeah, uh, let's get started. So basically, how you transform into a mob is you have to kill it first. Yes, that is how you become a mob. So yeah, I have every single mob in Minecraft, in vanilla Minecraft right now. Now I'll be showing you basically what each one does and looks like. So yeah, oh yeah, and in order to activate the morphing, you must use the left and right brackets in your keyboard. Yeah. So right now I have the squid and Henry Potter 999. So yeah, this is me. And just remember that image while we kill some of these mobs. I guess we'll start off with the creeper then. Hopefully it doesn't blow us up. Uh, oh, right. I forgot to turn us off peaceful. Alright then, uh, be right back while I get me another spawn egg. Alright, and we're back, and I have myself another spawn creeper egg. So, let's go. There we go. And now, as you can see, I have now gained the creeper. Now, when I go into the brackets, I see creeper. And then, as you can see, I'm slowly getting shorter. And when I go into F5, I'm a creeper. Okay. Creep, creep. All right, and now the next mob. Now next we have a skeleton. And yep, as you can see, my arm is now transformed into a creeper head. Creeper head, uh, arm. The first skeleton. And then after that, I can turn into a skeleton. And there we go, skeleton. And as you can see in the menu, uh, you can see that it has a zombie on fire icon. Basically what that means is if you step out into sunlight, uh, without the helmet, I think, right, or, yep, there we go, then you start to take fire damage, just like a normal skeleton would. So yeah, that's basically what happens, and yeah, alright, uh, on to the next mob. Here we have the zombie, and it's pretty much the same thing as a skeleton, so let's just morph into him, and when we go into F5, we are now a zombie, and I'm just flying my arms around. Alright, next mob! Now here we have the spider, and uh, yeah, he starts attacking me, and so now uh, the reason why the animation didn't play during them is because I had recently killed it, so, yeah. But now, when we turn into a spider, just like a normal spider would, we can climb up walls! And yeah, as you can see, our hearts decreased by a bit. I just noticed that, but, yeah. But as a spider now, you can climb up walls and be Spider-Man! Yay. Okay, spider doesn't really have a crouching animation, but yeah. Yeah. You still take fall damage though, so just remember to be careful with that. Alright, and now move on to the slime. So yeah, I'll just be showing you what each mob looks like uh, when you morph into them. So, we're now morphing into a slime, and now you only have half a heart, so if you die, uh, or if you take uh, one bit of fall damage, you're donezo. So yeah, and a unique thing to the slime is that when you go into water, water, you can't, you can't swim. I'm pressing the spacebar right now, and you can't swim. But that's why we have the squid! Now when you turn into the squid, 
you can basically be underwater forever. And yeah, you can swim really pretty fast as well, so yeah. But when you go out of water, you have very much fog everywhere, and you pretty much die after a certain amount of time if you don't go back into the water. So let's just do that for a sec. Morph back into myself. And there we go. I'm back to normal. Now we, let's just keep going. We have the gas. Alright. I believe the gas can fly. Yep, the gas can fly. And in the menu, it's really big. So, yeah. Alright, let's fly. So, as you can see, I am a, a huge, and I mean huge, but uh, we can fly now as a ghast. And yeah, you don't take fire damage, but I can't fit into here, so yeah. I'm just going to morph back into myself, and you can see the morphing animation as well when you do that. Alright, now when that happens, we move on to Zombie Pigman. And yeah. And when you get to him, let's morph into him. And by the way, for all you people out there wondering, all nether mobs, well, are immune to fire. Any fire and lava, they're immune to. So yeah. Now, uh, let's just stay as that. Let's move on to the Enderman. Hopefully it doesn't teleport away. And that. Now, when you morph into the Enderman, uh, there we go. You stand about three blocks high. So, yeah, you have Ender Particles. You cannot teleport as an Enderman, however, so that's a bummer. But, just be careful, when it rains, or you go into water accidentally, you start taking damage. So watch out if you ever go into water or it's raining. Uh, yeah. Now let's move on. Let's go to the witch. Hopefully do doesn't. And we got the witch now. Witch, nothing really special. So, yeah. Okay, now this looks really weird. Steak, arrow, bone. Whoa, that's a big bone. <laughs> Spider eye, slime ball. Uh, yeah. And apparently when I'm holding something, my nose goes up. Alright then. Well, anyways, to the next mob, we have the bat. Now the bat, if I can... There I go. Sorry, bat. I have to kill you for this mod review. Now the bat... You stand one block tall, but you can fly as well. So yeah, great way to fly. If you ever find a bat, you can fly. Now let's move on to the magma cube. Okay, not what I wanted. Not what I wanted at all. Um, yeah, just keep coming, these guys. Get more of them. Kill. I just need to get rid of all these guys. And yeah. Now, when you morph into the magma cube, you can basically change into a giant magma cube, or any size, really. And, yeah. Basically, what the magma cube has, you are immune to fire, you sink in the water, and, yeah, that's pretty much it. Now, let's move on to the blaze. Let's just store all this stuff over here. Alright, Blaze. Blaze Man. And as a Blaze, you can also fly, and you are also immune to fire. But... The smoke particles, yeah, the smoke particles get into you. But also, as well as the Enderman, you burn, you take damage when you go into the water. Or in rain. So yeah, these smoke particles are really getting to me. And now we move on to the Silverfish. So if I can attack it... Alright, morph into the silverfish. And nothing really special about the silverfish, really. And you can slow their along. And yeah, that's basically it. Then move on to the cave spider. 
buddy. And gay spider, you are immune to poison. And when you when you attack mobs, you give them a chance to poison them. Or no. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Um, oh, um I believe if you just get spiders, you guys are really annoying me to have hell out of me. So I believe Oh, I don't know about that, but yeah. So that's that. Now I should probably get back in here. Probably set it to time zero. And yeah, on to the next mob. Now we have the pig. Now the pig. We morph into him. Nothing special. But you can turn it into a pig. And you stand this tall, basically. And zombies, you are really annoying. Now, uh, let's go on to the sheep, horse, chickens, uh, not squid, wolf, iron golems, no golems, blah blah blah. Alright, now the sheep. Also, nothing special, but yeah, you can turn into a sheep. When you need those sheep moments. And same thing with the cow. You turn into a cow. And now here comes the chicken, which does have a special attrib attribute. Now, when you are a chicken, you have the ability to float. So you never take fall damage, pretty much. Let's just go to the skeleton. I should probably change into a spider, though. Okay. Now, I'll just show you what I mean by floating. So what happens, turn into a chicken. Uh, now, just watch me fall off. And basically you glide down, so you never take fall damage. And yeah, let's just hurry back. Though it is kind of annoying when you're trying to run and jump at the same time, so yeah. And then... We, oh, yeah, I forgot about these guys. Have the wolf. What happens when you kill the wolf is, well, just the way and see, you're pretty fast. Wait, um, I guess not, but yeah. You, you know, you know what I mean. You're a wolf. And uh, yeah. Now we have the iron golem. Let's kill this guy. Let's morph into him. Alright, now when you become an iron golem, what you get is you don't take any fall damage, you sink in water, and, well, yeah, you get the idea. Now, okay, I have to turn into a human for now so that I can actually get on out of here. Now, I turn into an iron golem. I'm gonna swim with the squids. And, yep, you can't float. But, as a side effect, which I just realized, you can basically land and be in here forever. And, yeah. So basically, you just wanna chill with the squids. Either be a squid or an iron golem. Now we have the snow golem, which I forgot. Uh, dies. Okay. Now, the snow golem, you get hurt by water. Simple as that. So, when you turn into the snow golem, yeah, that's pretty much it. Now, let's come to the villagers. Ah, uh, the squidwards. Die. Alright, now, villager, nothing, sim nothing much. And, yeah. Go shroom. Also, nothing much. Uh, shroom. Horse. Also, nothing much, I believe. Okay. Um. Why did I decide to turn into a villager? Let's try the ocelot. No. Okay. Come back here, ocelot. Come back here. I'll be right back. And we're back with an ocelot spawn egg, 
And, yeah. The other one didn't want to be cooperative, so I just have to kill this one. So, yeah. Now, when you turn into an ocelot, you take no fall damage because of that little myth about cats always land on their feet. And, yeah. You also gain a speed boost, just like the wolf, which I tested it out, and you do get a speed boost. So, yeah. I'm a cat, I'm a cat, I'm a cat. Yay. So, yeah, that pretty much wraps it up for the morph mod. I already tried testing it with the Ender Dragon and the Wither. You can't do it with bo any boss mobs unless they're from a mod pack or something. So, yeah, I'm Henry Potter 999 This has been a Minecraft mod review for the morph mod. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And don't forget to post in the comments what other mods you want me to do. So, yeah, that's the morph mod. Anyways guys, Henry Potter 999 here and I'll see you later.